how to convert kilograms to pounds in a quick, easy, simple manner that doesn't involve multiplying by 2.2. It's equivalent to multiplying by 2.2, but it is much easier. So whether you're doing your chemistry homework, your physics homework, your math homework, or you're just converting weights in the weight room, right? We need a quick and easy, simple way to do it so you don't have to get out your phone. You don't have to ask Siri or anything like that. So let's do a couple examples here. Let's start with an easy one. Let's start with 30 kilograms. All right, so what you're gonna do, the first step is you're gonna double the numbers. You're gonna take 30 kilograms, you're gonna double it, not too difficult. We started with a nice, simple, easy number here. We get 60, right? So you get 60, great. Now, what do you do with that 60? You take that 60 and you find 10%. So you may remember how to do this. There's an invisible decimal right here. Move the decimal over one spot so you get the number six. 6.0 technically, we don't need the zero. So we get 60 plus six and you get, not surprisingly, 66 pounds, okay? Now, to be fair, that was kind of an easy one. Let's choose one that's a little bit more difficult, right? Let's do, let's do 95 kilograms. All right, 95 kilograms. We're gonna do the same process, ignore the little equal sign right there. We'll do it below again. 95 kilograms, the first thing that we're gonna do, and you can pause this and try it out on your own if you want to. That's a really useful way to do it and then come back and check and see if you're getting it right. 95 kilograms, you double the 95. None of this 2.2 stuff, just double the 95. Might take a little bit of thinking. Eventually you figure out it's 190. Okay, so now you've got 190. You're gonna move the decimal over one. Again, you got 19, so you got 19.0 or just 19. Add those two together, 190 plus 19, you get 209 pounds. Okay, this is a very accurate way of doing it. Yes, there are technically some decimal points, but for the most part, they don't matter very much. This will get you very, very close to the correct answer. It's within like 0.2% of the correct answers, I think it is what it works out to be. All right, now we've done, a, we've done a number with a zero, we've done a number with a five. Those are both are a little bit on the easier side. So let's test this out with a harder one. Let's try, let's try 57 kilograms. Kind of an ugly number there. All right, so the same process the same process applies here. So we're gonna double the 57. Now doubling 57 is kind of weird, right? Some of you can do it in your head, no problem. For those of you who struggle, what you can do is split up the 50 and the seven. So let's double the 50 in our heads. That's pretty easy, that's 100. And then let's double the seven in our heads, that's 14. So just take 100 plus 14, we get 114. Okay, so what we've just done there is we've doubled 57. We've performed the first step. The next step is to find 10%. So again, you're just moving the decimal over one place. So you get 11.4. Now, if all you need is an approximate answer, just ignore the 0.4, right? So we just have 11. If you really wanna keep the 0.4 in there, that's fine. I'm just gonna do 11. So you've got 114 plus 11, you get 125 and you've got 125 pounds. Now, like I said, if you wanna keep the decimal in there, you can do that, you can add 11.4, then you get 125.4, technically a more accurate answer, but very often it's just not necessary. It's simple, it's easy, it's quick, it's very accurate. Hope this helps.